Parental ratings can protect a juvenile from severe bloody actions and from severe language. In word games, I permit any word from a chosen language, but I do not use severe language according to common authority figures in my everyday life and in my opinions. And from pornography. I am not a fan of pornography. I allow those criticisms. I am explaining a different central idea about parental rating systems. I believe that rating systems destroy the fans' favorites from a specific movie slash video game, from a specific series, or from specific episodes to a specific television program. One problem is that the ratings of each movie or of each video game from a set of movies or of video games are not 100% probability. It is the same thing for different ratings and for different content in each episode of the same television program. Because of this problem of different ratings in the same set and because of parental controls and media devices, also known as today's DEVOLUTIONINATORS! Juvenile fans can miss a single television episode from a specific television program or a single movie slash video game from a specific set. Prequels and sequels are not alike in one set of movies or of video games. Episodes are not alike in one television show. Parents can enforce ridiculous rules that a juvenile cannot watch a PG rated slash TV Y7 rated slash TV PG rated movie slash television episode or that a juvenile cannot play an E10 rated video game. Do pro parental rating people think that a PG rating, a PG-13 rating, a TVY7 rating, a TV PG rating, a TV14 rating, an E10 rating, and a T rating are subliminal R ratings, subliminal TV MA ratings, and subliminal M ratings? I think that parental rating boards have a policy in their constitution that states once a rating is declared, it cannot be ch changed unless we can negatively change the rating from PG to PG-13 as an example. Parental rates permanently carry over history in the future. Thank you very much, entertainment memorabilia. There are unrated versions of movies. The definition of unrated is rated X because of pornography. There are unrated versions of R-rated movies on DVD. But there are no PG-13 versions of R-rated movies on DVD, so MPAA are not giving respect to juvenile fans. There are policies to prohibit the sales of R-rated slash unrated DVDs to people under 70 years of age. As a gamer, ESRB broke my heart by declaring different ratings of my favorite video game sets, one fraction of the volumes is E-rated, and the other fraction of the volumes is more severe than E-rated. If I was one of the board members from one of the video game rating boards, I would declare that the video games are general rated, all ages, even though the video games contain mild violence, all words in word games, mild lyrics, comical mischief, mild suggestive thieves, and simulated gambling. Parental raid systems are becoming more like jerks. 
I am sorry that I said that, but I have to question authorities to end the age discrimination right now. We see and hear that parental rating endorsements are everywhere. Ratings are no longer opinions and recommendations. Ratings are absolute facts and absolute requirements because they are the inspiration of parental controls in media devices and of store policies that enforce age discrimination, thus hurting juveniles' feelings. It is time to end this destruction. It is time to correct the past mistakes that rating boards declared from unmatched ratings in sets to matched ratings in sets by changing to the less severe rating that was in the past declarations. It is time that the juvenile fans enjoy what they enjoy. With your support, we can eradicate the bullying of parental ratings.